today we're talking turkey. Um, first of all, I want to thank the turkey for his cooperation in the project. But this one, it's a super simple recipe. It's going to feature our Chipotle seasoning, of course. And it starts, it's, it's basically just three steps. We're going to brine the turkey. Then we're going to mix up a special injection marinade that I like to do. Um, step that's step two step three where I was going to cook the turkey but it starts with the brining step and um, the real important thing is that when you get your bird that you make sure that it's not been pre-brined or soaked in salt solution the reason why manufacturers will do this with turkeys is they absorb water and that's really why we're doing this is to coax a little bit more moisture into this turkey and make it a little more tender who doesn't want a more tender more juicy turkey. Well, manufacturers know that, and at times they will use salt or sodium tripolyphosphate to bring in more moisture because then they're selling you water. So it's important when you first thing you do when you're buying your bird is that you inspect it on the label for things like solution added, enhanced, even kosher. That can mean that it's already got something. This happens to be a free range farm fresh turkey with absolutely no additives whatsoever. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take and I'm going to add salt to my water and it's, it's very simple. I simply do one pound of salt for each gallon of water used. Now I've just got super cold refrigerated chilled water um, and I've got two pounds. So I've got two gallons of water and I've got two pounds of sea salt. A lot of re recipes are going to tell you that you want to basically heat this up over a saucepan to dissolve the salt. That's not necessary if we just give it a few minutes here and stir it around. And let's put it this way, folks. This is the basic formula. And like I said, I'm, this is a kiss turkey. Keep it simple, stupid guys like me we don't i mean because you can look up on the internet and you can just go to whatever level you want with this bird i'm talking fresh herbs and the whole bit and i like to just keep it simple and the nice thing about our chipotle seasoning and we're going to get a great tasting bird without doing a whole lot so i'm just using salt and water now you can add sugar you can add maple sugar you can add bourbon beer cider fruit chunks, the sky is the limit. But I just given you the basic formula, which is one pound of salt for one gallon of cold water. Also, I'm in a five gallon bucket here and I'm gonna just set this back in the cooler. Obviously you can do this in a fridge or if you don't have the means of keeping uh, a whole bucket in your refrigerator, you simply can use a cooler and add ice. If you need to uh, add a little bit of ice throughout the process, that's totally fine but you don't always have to use a refrigerator, and especially this time of year, it's gonna be cooler out. Put it in a small cooler, dump some ice in there, monitor it, make sure it stays cold. That'll work just the same. And um, about an hour per pound is how long you wanna brine this bird. Um, so I've got a 17 pound turkey, and I'm going to put it in here for about 17 hours. Let's take a look at this bird. Now, the turkeys that we get, like I said, they're cleaned up really nice. Um, they're actually already sort of trussed here, the way that they butcher these, which makes it really nice. And you just wanna take a look and see if there's anything. Um, obviously, you're gonna have this packet in here that, that's got your heart, um, your gizzard, and your liver in it. So you wanna get that out of there. You wanna see if you have the turkey neck in the turkey cavity which this one did not have the turkey neck in there. And then you wanna make sure there's no um, ice or, or moisture or anything like that extra in here. Um, I do feel a little bit of ice, so I'll get that out of there. This bird was previously frozen. There is a little ball of fat here, like the turkey tail. Um, I'm just gonna leave that. Then we've got a little bit of this extra neck skin right here, so I'm just simply going to cut it off. I'm gonna leave a little bit just so that when it cooks up, it 
doesn't expose that breast right there. So at that point, because this turkey is so nicely prepped and ready to go, all I pretty much got to do is submerge this turkey in my cold brine. So I'm going to put it breast down. We're going to put it in there and you'll see my two gallons perfectly covers my turkey. Um, you can use maybe some dinner plates or something like that to weight this down if you want. At this point, step one complete. Like I said, super simple, takes five minutes. We're gonna put this in the cooler and when we come back, we're going to mix uh, maple sugar, our chipotle seasoning, some uns unsalted butter, and we're going to inject this turkey and get him on the Traeger 885 to smoke and cook. So to bed you go, Mr. Turkey. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, I've now got a haircut overnight. Um, this would be a great time to feature something that we're gonna have available soon. And it's a refill bag. Obviously the bucket refills the shaker, but now we're going to have a bag available that refills the bucket because eventually that's gonna happen. So first things first, I've got to refill my bucket. with Bearded Butcher Blend seasoning. And once that's done, I've got to refill my shaker. <clears throat> Obviously with a piece of meat this large, we're gonna use quite a bit of seasoning. So I'm gonna be using both the shaker to apply seasoning to the outside of the bird. And I'm gonna be using my scoop to make my injection marinade. <clears throat> All right, so once that's all done, let's go get our bird. He's over here by the sink. So I threw some meat hooks in a heavy plastic bag. When you're pulling your bird out like this, it's always gonna have a bunch of liquid in that cavity. So we're gonna drain all that out. I'm gonna get him sitting in this little rack here just for right now. Patient is on the table. Now I've got to pat him dry. So I'm gonna go snag some paper towels. We'll be right back. We're just gonna pat him dry and then we'll get started on our injection marinade. Get him all seasoned up. Get him cooking. The fun part. I think that's gonna do. All right. Let's slide this out of the way for a second. Talk about what we've got here. Once again, three very easy, simple ingredients. I've got a roll of unsalted butter. I've got some of Ohio pure maple syrup. My sister Stacy, actually twin sister Stacy, her and her husband make the maple syrup right at their farm just two miles away. So. Maple syrup, butter, and chipotle seasoning. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna melt this butter. So once again, I'm just, I'm not doing a whole lot of, you can't use too much of the butter. So I'm gonna put this in here, zoom off to the microwave for a second. When we get back, we're gonna mix kind of equal parts maple syrup and butter, and then add some chipotle seasoning, BRB. All right, we're ready to go. I grabbed my basting brush because we're going to use that later. 
So what I like to do is see how close we got to a half a cup here. Oh, just with the eyeball. Look at that. Pretty darn close. So I like to do, like I said, about equal parts. I've got a half a cup of butter and then I'm going to add about the same amount of maple syrup and then I'm going to do two tablespoons of chipotle. The idea here is I want to mix this up, get it all blended up here and then this is going to be my injection into, tell you what, I'm just gonna do it this way, make sure there's no clumps in here. All right, looks like we got that mixed up. I can fill my injection needle. I'm gonna start putting this into the bird. Since I'm sucking this up with my needle, I want it something a little bit more cylindrical. Okay, get over here, bird. All right, <clears throat> so some people don't like track marks. That means when they put this in here, they don't like those holes in their bird, but we're not at all worried about that because we want a nice, flavorful bird. So, I can already tell I'm not going to be happy with the amount of injection. So, I'm going to mix up another batch and keep going. I just asked Spencer, I was like, you smell that? He's like, oh yeah. It smells so good. All right. Be right back. I'm actually going to use one of these and get right under that skin. That way it kind of runs right on top of that muscle. Cannot have too much butter. Right, guys? That's right. Look at him over there. Look at my audience. Lunchtime, this is gonna be ready and we're gonna... So, <clears throat> we've been making more turkey um, lately and I think there's actually a petition that needs started because there's no reason why we should only eat turkey like this once a year. So I think I would like to see more turkey throughout the year. More turkey, more butter, and more beer to butcher blend seasoning, the better. And we're gonna call that good. I am gonna be making some more of this um, up just to baste the turkey as we're cooking it. But at this point, I'm going to begin putting my dry rub on the outside of it. We're gonna coat the outside of this bird nicely with chipotle seasoning. So I'm using chipotle because we describe it as cool and smoky. It's mild. And so a lot of folks, you know, at your holiday party, grandma included, may not want a heavily seasoned or otherwise spicy bird. And chipotle is nice and cool and smoky. And you can use Cajun as well. It's a uh, more of a peppery base to the Cajun. You've got three peppers in there, but Chipotle we like because it's going to, you know, be palatable for everybody that's involved, grandma and kids included, and it's gonna turn out a great tasting bird. So as I said, bear in mind, I'm going to mix up some more of my um, injection marinade. I'm gonna base this turkey as we go, but at this point, I think it's time 
we head out to the grill. I would say beautiful fall day. It's more of a typical fall day here in Ohio. Overcast, about 46 degrees. Oh, look at that. In she goes. All right, we'll be back after a while. See how she does. Basting time. Um, grills at 350. I'm using the turkey pellets from Traeger, mixture oak, hickory, maple, and rosemary. And the great thing is these do come with their own brine and uh, turkey rub, but you've got enough with just the, uh, the one bag. You can do two, maybe even three turkeys or like a turkey to turkey breast. So definitely hang on to this. It comes in the bag. Um, if you're doing our mixture today, highly recommended. That also is very good, so bear that in mind. All right, I know you want to see this bird. Let's take a look here. Oh, I can smell it inside. So I've just got my mixture here of butter, maple syrup, and chipotle seasoning. If you notice, I don't skimp with the butter. And if you've been following along, I've, this is my third batch of this stuff. This is what we injected the bird with. And I've gone through two tablespoons of Chipotle each time. So that's why it's great to have that bucket. Oh, she is looking so divine that I cannot wait. Actually going to spin this bird around so I can get the other side. Hey, hi buddy. How are you, huh? Mm. Doesn't that turkey smell good? Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> no part of this bird untouched. You know what? I'm just gonna even it out here a little bit too. Gotta have the right right look to it all, right? Now that seizing is gonna stick on there nice. Oh the smell. Alright. Now we wait. It, it's getting a little bit chilly out here. Oh, it's going to be the last base of this bird. It's going to drizzle it on there. Let's make a roux. Um, I'm going to make some gravy. Obviously, you can't have turkey without gravy. So I've melted some butter. I'm actually I rolled out a little big green egg here. This is our very first green egg that we ever had. And I melted my butter. I'm just gonna get my flour in there. A cup of butter, a cup of flour. I'm gonna get this all toasted up. And then I'm gonna add some some of my drippings and some uh, Chicken bone broth. Make ourselves a nice gravy. Oh yeah. Let's put that on there, let it simmer for a minute or so. Alright, I'm stealing some drippings from this to add to my roux. So that we get some of that good smoke flavor in there. Not a lot because they've got a little bit of a bark thing going on but just enough to get that flavor if I skim some of that out of there that ought to flavor it up nice hear those kids screaming in there oh yeah so I'm gonna add that 
broth in there. So if you want to snag me that Chipotle. Never thought you'd ask to get me involved in this video. Hey, Here, let me do this. He's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. How much you want? I mean, how many shakes? Just a little bit. I mean, we've got plenty on the turkey. I'm just trying to season it up. Perfect. Good. Yep. A little I like dash it. more. Nope, thing. that's good. Oh, and I need my glove. My cut proof or my heat resistant glove, please. Hey, while you're at it, get me a glass of water. You got a please in there anywhere? Please. You know what? We don't have time for Seth. I got to get this off. There we go. All right, now Mr. Turkey, as soon as he's done, got ourselves some gravy to go on there, and we go to town. Do I need a mic? Nope. Mic? No mic. Do I need a Spencer? You do need me, <laughs> I think. These gloves are, um, we're working on branding gloves like this for our um, Beard of Butcher, and we are branding this thermometer over here. So we're gonna have those available down the road. Gloves and thermometer. Put a plug in for that. All right, check it out. 350 degrees, 160 internal temperature on my, woo! Oh my. Just take a moment and soak it in. This beautiful bird is now going to head inside with me. So, now I'm just gonna take the bird, head in, we're gonna carve it up. It's lunchtime here at White Feather Meats on a busy Saturday, but we're gonna get this puppy carved up and everybody's gonna enjoy turkey. We, get, we got inside and we're, we're trying to let this thing rest. We are letting it rest, but we've got hungry, hungry hippos. The um, turkey has now been joined of course, the gravy, a sweet potato pie, and look at this, bacon topped, cheddar topped mashed potatoes. Shout out to my wife, Jamie. She made the accessories, because you can't just eat, well, you can just eat turkey, but, so you're gonna want a little bit of everything. We're gonna cut this bird up, not gonna make too much to do about that. Um, uh, uh, maybe everybody has their own way or whatever, but the um, the idea here is I'm just tripling up my gloves because otherwise it's going to be kind of hot. So let's get him unglued from his rack here. The guy that carves the turkey is always the favorite guy at the party. This one was trussed like this already, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Go right down here. Along the thigh until you expose that thigh bone and joint. That went off. Oh, look at that. Now, you know, at every holiday meal, there's always that guy hanging around looking for a taste. Let's just carve off a little taste. Do you want to be that guy? Absolutely. Who all wants a taste? Come on in here, tell me how it is. You do? Yeah. Dad wants a taste. Can you hand that over to him? Mm, so good. All right, so anyway, I'm going to once I've got the, the wolves at bay, you find this joint right here. Cut the drums off. Go right down along the bone here. Get my dark meat. <clears throat> Separate it out of there. As you can tell, I don't work too much on fowl. Mostly just, just red meat. Obviously the bones, you can set them aside. You're gonna be able to do all kind of stock and gravy with that. Now 
now I'm gonna use my get the wings off of here, get these out of the way. down along that breastbone where we've got that all that juice and butter and injection that I put in there get that out of the way how juicy this turkey is doesn't that just look amazing? It's gonna be hot. Look at how much juice is coming out of this turkey. All right, well, <clears throat> there you have it. We've got turkey, get rid of that wing tip. A little bit of turkey, dark meat, white meat, Time for the cook to taste a little bit of this. Go with this piece right here. Mmm. So savory. All right. My job is done. Hope you enjoyed the video, the steps we took. Remember, three easy steps, three easy ingredients. Well, four if you count the salt. With the salt brine, then we did the chipotle, maple syrup, and butter. That went in the turkey, on the turkey. Now we're done. Everybody's standing around licking their chops. We hope that you enjoy this Thanksgiving season as I'm sure we will, because like we say, it's all about faith, family, and food. We're gonna say a quick blessing over this, and then we're gonna eat, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.